Okay, so today we are going to read another tale from the Trickster Tales, 40 Folk Stories from Around the World. We are going to read the story today called Guinea Pig and Fox. It's a tale from Peru. Which would be the trickster here? Guinea pig or fox? Everyone has heard tales of tricky foxes, but in Peru, the trickster would be the guinea pig. He is the clever one, while fox is his slow-witted friend, or just as often the victim of guinea pig's pranks. Guinea pig had been raiding a farmer's <coughs> home for several nights, stealing food whenever the farmer and his wife were asleep. But the farmer was a tri tricky fellow himself. Instead of setting traps, which he knew a clever thief could avoid, he got some tar and worked it into the shape of a guard. The farmer placed the tar statue outside where Guinea Pig could not help but see it. Sure enough, Guinea Pig saw the figure. In the dark, he couldn't tell that it was only made of tar, and he watched and he waited, watched and waited. When the figure didn't move, Guinea Pig said to himself, This is no guard. This is another thief trying to find a safe way inside. So he whispered to the figure, Hey, this is my place. No answer. I said, this is my place. Go find your own. No answer. Are you deaf? Answer me or I'll hit you. No answer. Guinea pig hit the figure and his left paw got stuck to the tar. He hit it again and his right paw got stuck. He kicked it and now both feet were stuck to the tar. The guinea pig hung totally stuck to the figure. Along came Fox. What are you doing? he asked. Why, I am waiting to marry the farmer's daughter, Guinea Pig told him. But I am too small. I am waiting for this magic tar to make me taller. Marry the farmer's daughter? That would mean all the food any fox could want. Let me marry her, Fox said. I am already taller than you. The tar will make me as tall as a man. Let me take your place. Guinea Pig hesitated. I don't know. Please? Well, all right. So Fox pried guinea pig free and let himself get stuck to the tar figure instead. And it was Fox the farmer found in the morning. Before Fox could get free, the farmer had beat him thoroughly. I'll get even with guinea pig, Fox told himself, rubbing his bruises. There he is now, standing by that rock. Guinea pig saw Fox running towards him, and he quickly pretended to be pushing against the rock. Ah, there you are, he cried, just in time, Fox frowned. What do you mean? If I let go of this rock, it'll roll down the hill and smash everyone. But I'm too small, I can't hold the rock for much longer. Weakling, Fox taunted. Let someone bigger and stronger hold back the rock. He took Guinea Pig's place. Guinea Pig went his way, leaving Fox pushing against the rock, and pushing against the rock, and pushing against the rock. This is boring, Fox said. Very carefully, he let go of the rock, and nothing happened. Guinea Pig tricked me again, he cried. I'll get him for this. Fox saw Guinea Pig digging a burrow. There you are, he cried. Just in time, Guinea Pig answered. Crawl into this hole quickly. It's going to rain fire. Fire? gasped Fox. Are you sure? Yes, yes, it's going to rain fire. Just then, Fox felt something sting his flank. What was that? Another something stung his back. Oh, it is raining fire. He crawled into the hole and hid and hid and hid. I wonder if it stopped raining fire, Fox said. He looked cautiously out of the hole. And what did he see? Thorns. Nothing but thorns. Guinea pig tricked me again, Fox cried. There wasn't any rain of fire. No, no. He threw thorns at me so I'd hide and let him escape. I'll get him for this. I'll catch him. But even though Fox has been chasing guinea pig to this day, Fox still hasn't caught him. The end.